Hello guys, welcome to Good Micro Practice. Now when I say Canadian and search, it gives me a list of food by nationality. When I say another one, uh, Italian, you can say give me another range. When I say American, it gives me another range. In this video, we're going to develop this using React Hooks and Redux. If you want to type along with me, kindly install the following. 1. npm install Redux. 2. npm install React Redux. 3. npm install Redux DevTools extension. And 4. npm install Axios. So that's it, that, guys. With all said and done, let's begin. Thank you very much. Let's begin by creating three folders in our SRC folder. We create the first one, we call it Assets. Create the second one and call it Components. Create the third one and call it Redux. Now let's take the first one. The first one, we're going to have a folder called Images. Now the images, I have an image here. Let's put it inside dry food. Good. So uh, assets is ready. We can close it. But that is there. Next is components. Now with the component, let's create a folder and call it food. Now inside a food folder, let's create a file and call it food aap dot js now let's take our boilerplate rfc instead of ordinary day, why don't we make it react to fragment react dot fragment good so inside that we can say h1 tag then we say hello. Now let's link that to the app.js to be on the screen. You go to app.js, then we call food, food app. Yeah. Now let's import it. It has imported. Now let's check our screen to see if there's any complaint. Great, we got hello on the screen, so it means we're ready to go. So to begin with, let's look at the structure for the application. Now in this application, we're going to have a card. Now inside a card, we're going to have as usual the header. Now beneath the header, I'm going to have the I call it the input box. Then beside the input box, we can have our button. Okay. Then beneath the input box and back then we can have our images being displayed here so that is that's for the setup for the application so without further delay let's begin so we go back to our close the app to js and instead of hello we can put our card inside so we say div then we say activity class name we call it card. Inside the card, what do we need? We need a card header. So it's a D. Uh, give it a class name. And call card header. Yeah, we can copy that three times. Good. So we can have our card. body and a nice one card footer so that is our left them one after the other and the first one card header what do we do let's give it an h5 tag then inside that we can say search food app then we can say by nationality. Sorry, T Y. 
now that is done let's check that out great now what we need to do now is to uh, center everything okay so to do that we need to go to our css but before we go to the body let's give uh our box sizing border box yeah. then let's give margin margin zero then padding zero should i start so next we can now call our body choose a b-o-d-y okay inside that you can say display grid then give it place items place items give center let's give it a background color background color of hash d1 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 okay now let's check that out you see that yeah yeah now let's give the card some width and height okay so we say card card let's give it the width of 900 pixels then what again let's give it height let's make it auto and then background color of hash e zero d f e nine okay good what do we need to do next let's check that out good down the card header let's give the card header some background color so we say go to card header so we say card header Okay, let's get a background color of hash two three two three two three. Good. Let's check that out. Good. Now what we need to do is to call the H5 tag. So we say D card header H5. Give it color um, um white smoke. white smoke then give it font size 30 then give it font weight font weight good let's check that good 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 that is that all I need to do is to get a uh, centered CSS so we say centered so that we can say display display flex and justify content center then align items center okay so we can add a center class to the to the um, card header okay so we can say centered good let's check that out good. so that is that for the header next is the input input button input and the button yeah, input button good. so we go to the input button that's into the body to the body session we can create another div and just call it give it a class name and we say call it a body section yeah. now inside that what do we do let's create form okay form good now let's give it a class name good. let's call it form inline good so inside that can create another div and give it a class name and call it form 
group okay so inside that we can create our input tag and button so we say input in input input now inside the input tag what do we need good type equals text then let's give it a size equals 30 then class name equals form control and finally a placeholder equals enter your nationality national lady good so that is that we continue with the next one which we call another input input tag okay let's give it a type type equals what submit give it a value course search no, no, make it caps search then class name class name equals btns hmm. that is let's check that out good 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 that is that now let's enter it so i can call our um let's say good body session get the i say center good great so that is that let we need to do is to what uh make the get a css for the python so let's do that go to css so it's input let's say focus come on and input input uh, um, active good give us our outline none and border none the next is the btms btms on the btns what do we do let me see good let's give it a background color background color of hush g13501 good then then what let's give some color color let's give white smoke then what again we give it pattern pattern let's give it six pixels and um, 30 pixels what next let's give it border radius no 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 border radius five pixels and what again let's give it font size one size 18 pixels then what again font weight yeah font weight bold then what again take the border say border border none then outline none outline say none 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 good that is that let's check it out good 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 our search button is ready next thing to do is to create uh, the images okay let's give it the try image use the try image to build it first so we go back to the footer we say uh, comment and say image 
section. Okay. Inside the card, inside a folder, card folder, let's build a food container. Okay. Say D. Then well, let's give it a class name and call it food. Food container. Container. Okay. So inside that, we need two things. We need image container. Dave, call it a class name equals IMG container. Good. And uh, and what again? And uh, the name container. Okay. So we have two things. The one is what the name container. So we have the image container and the name container. So let's take the image now. To the image, we say call the image tag img src equals try. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, equals what? Try image. And out. Out because let's close the tab. Let's complain. Why? Okay. okay, yeah, that's that. Let's give the image some width and height. So let's give it width, width, width. Let's give it width 250 pixels. And then height. Height, 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 height. Oh. 150 pixels. So that is that. But again, let's import the image. Go up, let me say, import, try image from, from where? No. I get assets. Assets we go to images. Okay, what's the name of the image? Try food. Yeah, I get it here. Try food. I don't try food. Dot jpg. Let's check that out. Good. So our image is ready. So what we need to do is to add the name to. So let's go back. Add the name. So we go down. So we go down. And give it a p tag. No. P tag. I will call it uh, name. Name of food. So that is that. But now let's create the CSS. For so let's do the first one, the IMG tag first. Let's give it a body radius. Let's say five pixels. So that is that. Let's take the name container, food. Oh, sorry. The name container. 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 Mm, give it what? Let's give it the width. Width of 250 pixels. Let's give it a height. Let's give it auto. Good. Then what again? Let's give it a background color of ash one two zero one two five. Okay. Then what again? Uh, the name container P. Oh, what do I call it? Yeah, name container P. Okay, let's do some font size. Oh, what's this? Font size 20 pixels. Then let's give it a um, color. Color white smoke. Then what again? Font weight, font weight, bold. 
let's check that out good now let's center it so we say center class is there so we just say call it centered good. let's check that out good so our food is centered let's give some padding top mm, okay let's say padding top uh 10 pixels let's check it out great 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 so that is that guys let's copy that four more times to see to build the grid so we have our food container yeah. so our food container we copy that then we say okay give it more let's check that out can you see so now what we need to do is what create the the grid okay so we go to the foot what's the name food food container here yeah. no 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 we go to the uh, card footer card footer and build a grid okay so copy the card footer go to css then we say card footer We say display grid. Then inside I will say grid uh, template columns uh, one fr one fr one fr. Good. And what? Give it a grid gap. Grid gap. Let's give it twenty pixels then margin auto okay, let's check that out you can see why why this doesn't come that's an issue but let's check it out something oh look at this uh, misplacement here and this couple side sorry guys good so let's check that out okay so that is that guys the more we add the more they get into the grid so let me add another one you can see uh copy great another three more so you can see they keep aligning in the grid so that is that guys ready for our redux so when i take this off so i can now take all of them off and leave one still more uh, food container so all this we don't need them. Hmm, so that is that. Food container. Food there. So we're good to go. So now we're ready for Redux. So to begin Redux, let's close the food. Let's close all this and go to our folder. Good. Then begin Redux. So let's create a file. Now we take the Redux folder. Yeah, let's take create a file and call it store.js. And inside the same Redux folder, let's create another file and call it roots reducer.js. Now in the same Redux folder, let's create another folder and call it food redux Good. now inside the food redux folder let's create three files first one we call it food dot 
action types dot js okay so the next one inside the food redux we call it food dot actions dot js the next one too we call it food dot reducer dot js good so that is that let's take the first one the food dot action types now for the action type let's create we say a sport const load data request equals load data requests same thing good so we can copy that three times good. so the second one is going to load data success good. just editing good. and last one is going to be failure So that is that. What we need to do is to what? go to the uh, food dot actions. Now the food dot actions. What do we do? We import the action types. Okay, we import it. So we say import import what? Import load data request. Good. So likewise, just copy it three times. That is the second one can be success and failure. So that is that. Good. The next to import is actions. So we say import actions from actions. So that is that. Now we go down there and finally say a sport const load data. Good. Equals to equals to a function. Oh, sorry. Equals to a function. Good. Inside that that will return return what an async asy async and finally we can have our try try and what turn with uh, catch to see each catch okay so that is that so let's take the first one. We're gonna say dispatch dispatch good. dispatch what well, we need to dispatch over here. Then we say we are dispatching dispatching a type a type called what load data request. Then when that is done, we need our URL. So we say let data URL equals to equals to what? What's the uh, uh, data URL? Now our data URL. Let's go to Google. Then we go to mail DB. Okay, mail DB. The mail DB.com. On the mail db.com we go to api 
URL. So we have by name, by letter, by ID. Yeah, again, this is my area. So we copy this. Copy this URL. Yeah. Here we go back. Uh, paste URL. So that is that. Yeah. So what do we do? Say response right here. So we say let's response equal to await wait what axios dot get to bracket data URL good if that is successful what do you do and you dispatch dispatch what dispatch a type a type called load data load data success comma and the payload a payload give it a payload response dot data good so that is that how about should we have an error so what do we do if that's the case then dispatch dispatch what a type type a type load data failure good. with the payload payload error good so I think that's that for the action for the actions next to do is to go to foot dot reducer okay. and what we need to do is to import the action types again so we, we did it at action so let's go copy it so just copy it from here and take it to foot dot reducer paste it so that is that next to create a feature key in the store so we say export const food key equals food store put that in quote to so that event we can have food store in our store but next we create our initial state we say let's initial state state as the ate state equals to equals to what let's give it data array then we can say loading let's give it false then finally we can say error message good let's give it empty good now we're done let's create a function for the food reducer so we say export const food reducer cer equals to a function okay inside that we can have our state equals initial state initial state comma action okay further destruction we can say let's let's what type T -O -R -P -E type and payload first to action so for a switch statement we can say switch switch words into brackets type Okay. 
Okay, so now let's take the first case. Case where we have what? Load data request. Good. What do you do? Return. Return what? Give us data back. Come on, they make loading. Loading what? True. So that is that. How about a case load data success? What do you do? And let's copy that. Good. Case load data success. Let's use. What do you do? Give us a state back, make loading false. No. False. F A L S. Okay. False. Then come on, then give the data the payload. Payload, yeah. So that is that. How about load data failure? Okay, now with load data failure, what do we do? Give us a state back, there's nothing like loading, just the error message. Error message. Uh, the, let's give it the payload. So that is that. Now let's create our default case. So say default. Default to return. Return the state. Yeah. So that is that. For the foot dot reducer. So now we can go to Root dot root reducer so root reducer now so over here what do we do let's import import what the food reducer good next is to import combine reducers combine reducers from redux good so finally we can say let's Roots reducer be equal to combine reducers into bracket into bracket what? Good. Let's take the food key Good. and give it a value of food reducer. Yeah. Let's import the food key. That's important for us. So that is that. Finally, we can export the root reducer. So we say export, export what root reducer. Now export the root reducer to where? To the store. So we go to the store. Let's import, import the root reducer. Root reducer again then import again create store create store create store and come on no 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 it's my book create store then um, apply apply middleware middleware get apply middleware from radar it's not the way to radar skill from radar the next is to import compose with dev tools skill then finally we can import import what tank from radar tank yeah, that is that so to begin we can say let all middleware go all middleware equal to let's create a, an array for all middleware okay tank in future you can just add command add more middleware store so we can say let's store equals to create store Restore 
Oops, producer, producer, come on, compose with dev tools into bracket, to bracket put, okay, let's come here into bracket, apply, apply middleware to bracket, let's call all the middleware, so we say one, two, three, and all middleware. So that is that. Good. Now what we can do is to export our store. So we say export. Export with store. Now export store to where? Export store to the app.js. Put app.js then import our store. So we say import store from Redux store. So that is that. Next is to import provider. So import provider from React Redux. Yeah, that is that. Now let's wrap the provider around the component. So we say uh, provider. Get inside the provider we can have our store. Store, 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 store equals store. Okay, so that is that. Can just cut this side. Make it this way. Make it, uh, maybe this way. Yeah, better this way. So that is that. Our store is ready. Now let's go to our uh, or screen to see the store to see if everything is represented. We can close this. Good. So we are back here. We check our store. Oh, what's happening? Check the state. Good. We have everything has been represented. Now everything is represented. So what we need to do now is to dispatch the api to first we need to link the the store to the component so that we can dispatch the api to see our data so let's see how to do that so we go back to let's close all this let's close them all close them all close them all good let's go back to our component so component component good import import what import a use use selector selector and uh, use dispatch dispatch yeah, from the actuator so that is that now let's initialize the uh, initialize dispatch so let's say let's dispatch equals use dispatch okay so our dispatch is ready so now our dispatch is ready what do we do hmm guys we need to check our API out so let's call it call it use effect Let's see use effect yeah so over here we can say use effect yeah inside that we can have a function good and now we can have our comma then empty array yeah sorry empty array there so that is that use the first is ready so let's dispatch if we dispatch 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 what dispatch you go to actions options 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 yeah redux 
Redux, you go to food dot action dispatch the load data okay so let's go do that so we say dispatch load data good good and let's check our screen to see if the dispatch has been done now let's check our store failure 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 Something is wrong somewhere. Let's check that out. Wait a minute. Let's get back to options. Sorry guys, the API. There's no HTTP added to it. So let's go to the API again. Right, let's go to Google. We say um, the meal the meal DB. DB, yeah, the mail DB API. Yeah. There is the API. Good. Okay. Over here, over here, by area, by area. Again. Okay. Now we copy that. We copy to. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. So this is the API. Yeah. You need to add the HTTP to it. So good. So that is that. Let's go back and put it there. And put that there. Good. Great. So that is that. Good. Let's check. Again, run it. Check our store. Success. You can see we have success. We got data, okay. We got data. Yeah, that is there. We got data. Yeah. So now we got data. What we need to do is to first of all we need to bind our input box. Okay. Now we got data. We need to bind our input box. So how to do that? Let's go up and close the actions. Now we got data. Let's go and bind our input box. To bind it, let's give it a name. And then let's call it food name. Okay. And let's give it a value. A value, let's call it nationality. Oh, nationality. 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 Dot food name. So that is that. I get unchange. Unchange. Oh, come on. Unchange. Unchange. Okay, let's give it handle change. So now let's go up. Let's create the this thing first. The value first. So let's buy input. So over here I can say bind input. Yeah. So to do that, we can say let's call use state. Come on. Say use state. Yeah. So use state, let's go. Let's uh, let what? Say nationality, come on, set nationality, nationality, set nationality, equals use state okay. to bracket. Let's give it um, food name equals empty. Okay, that is that. So our food name is ready. So we can say for on change can just copy that and say let oh come on. 
that's handle change equals to a function where we call the event empty events we can see that set nationality into bracket give us the nationality back comma then give us what then give us do it this way event dot target target dot name with a value event dot target dot value no why this error get so readily in bring the bracket the object good yep I think that is that so let's check that out let's call nationality using pre tag call json so let's say pre tag call json let's say json 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 dot string to bracket nationality okay, let's check that then it's in our type yeah, see we it's represented my food name so our food name is good to go so our input box is binded so, what do we do next now that our input box is binded let's view the store okay so to view the store and put it here and down here it's okay good just view store so we say let's view view what view food equals to use selector we select uh, the bracket gives a function yeah oh we can see the states should return return what return the state with the key and the key is what food Food key. Good. Now let's import food key. Let's say import the food key is in the reduce so okay. Food no. Food no no no. Food key. Okay. Food key. Raiders, then now uh, we go to food raiders, then food go to reducer. Yeah, that is that. Go to food the reducer. You can see the food key. So that is that. So next is to check it out if the food key is also. ready so likewise instead of json is of nationality let's put food key there so let's put view food there so view food okay. let's check that out good you can see we have our data so we can now view our store good that is that
good now let's sorry i forgot to bind the the button okay so that button to let's go bind it let's say bind the button bind the button bind the button we go down and say let's form form is what good then we say on submit submit equals handle handle submit now let's create a function for handle submit over here handle change let's do here okay see handle sub Mate, do we select handle submit equal to function? So okay. inside that we can call our event. Let's give it e, so we can say e dot prevent default. That does that. So we can try test it out and say alert alert what alert nationality nationality okay, let's check that out if i say to uh i type anything here and i see see so the button two is now ready now good api is ready and uh input and the button is also binded now what we need to do is now look at the we want to make it then i know this uh this how do you call it this the store is only for the api is only for canadian okay we need to make the this thing dynamic this is only for canadian okay we need to make it dynamic so that we can put our nationality in the input box to fetch the any nationality okay so what we're going to do is to go back to the uh, what's the name the what my address then food dot actions get food dot actions we go to the URL the API get we make it dynamic okay so we take the Canadian off then we give it a dollar sign then we can say let's call it nationality nation now okay. so nationality okay. now then this thing should be we need to take the and use the other other this thing what's the name other quote not this one but this one the one before the one got okay, this one so paste it inside okay, you can see the nationality highlighted so we put the nationality also here no data you say nationality good so now we can dispatch now so when i say i'll go back to the dispatch so use effect we can just comment you we only need the dispatch so we just need a dispatch can copy that so instead of alert we say dispatch we dispatch load data into that inside that we say nationality okay. so what again hmm okay, let's try it out go back to R then we say Canadian we say Canadian loss dispatch meals now loading why 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 Canadian something wrong somewhere what do we do let's check it out oh sorry dispatch nationality so nationality dot food name let's call the food name food name is so I made it 
nationality that so we need the food name again to dispatch load data nationality the food name let's check that out let's go canadian again canadian yeah we got data good guys we got data now our data is working so what we need to do is to what uh, map the data into the uh, how do you call it the the this region the food region okay. let's take the try picture of the match the data into it then we are done so that is that that is that that is that let's go back we can close these actions let's go down 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 then now it's great so over here the food container we can write a mapping statement so we just cut it good and we cut it and say so over here we write our gss okay we say good inside that we can say if yeah if food no no not food name view food okay. view food dot dot land equals to zero what do you do do nothing otherwise otherwise what give us a react fragment we are the fragment and inside that inside that give us the view view food dot data dot map view to the dot meals dot map okay. now map gives us a function Good. Well, we can say should I return return what return a div so div good inside that we can have our item okay. so let's check if there's any error no error good we can continue with our good so our item the first one is what let's check our data what's our data uh, we need our key key get our key is what our key is item dot id mail good so now we can paste everything here. So we have the fragment. We have the fragment. Let's reorganize this nicely. Oh, come on. So, 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 so that is that, guys. Good. Now what we need to do next is to try look at our data again. So if I see Canadian, it is here our data. Now what we need to do is to look at our data, the, uh, the, the data again. Okay. Let's go. Well, let's look at it in the store. We can see our of data we can see the the data name strmal meal the stream mail then there is in this an id so let's take the first one str in good and use it there we can say go back and so instead of the try image I can say item dot paste it there nicely and the second one is what oh, 
life is gone. Our data is gone. Gone, 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 gone. Well, we can check it, still check it. Canadian. Good. You can see the. Let's take the food one too. Copy the food one. STR mail. Good. There we go. STR mail. Where are you? Good. Paste it. Good. So that is that. Let's take our pay tag off. Pay tag. Where are you? Good. Good. Let's check it out again. STML is not defined. I'm 84. So that STML is not defined. STML. I'm sorry. I tell you that STML. Now let's check that out. Good. So if I see Canadian, gives us a data. You can see, guys. So let's take another one. Let's take American. American. You can see, guys. Let's take another one. Let's say Italian. That's it, guys. Thank you for sticking through. Catch you in the next one. Peace.